What's up guys, it's uh, about 8.40, I'm running super late. Uh, I'm headed to the Lingenfelter Cars and Coffee today out in Wixom. And I thought I'd just bring you guys along because I uh, really have been making videos lately. Come on, focus. Yeah, so it's about a 45 minute drive. I'm already about 45 minutes late. So uh, we'll see you when I get there. And uh, I want to show you guys uh, a lot of cool cars because they usually have a lot of sweet stuff there. at the show and uh, I'm just gonna walk you guys around my friend Grady's here he'll probably talk about cars he knows a lot more than I do and uh, so yeah just enjoy all right got my coffee now I'm hanging out with Grady oh yeah we got a ZR1 right here and then there's another yellow one back there behind Grady up and we'll focus on it but uh yeah, we're at Lingenfelter Performance. Fun fact, about, fun fact about this one, this has a thousand horsepower. A thousand horsepower for a daily driver. Damn. Mr. Lingenfelter's personal daily driver. Oh, that's sweet. I feel like an aftermarket, if people that do aftermarket wings on this, they end up putting the location of the mount points here and here. So when you lift the hatch back up, like once you lift it up, it will go up with it. But with the ZR1, they decided that it needs to be structural in the body, so they mounted it back here, and then the mounting points go all the way down into the frame. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it makes, I mean, the, makes downforce actually work. I mean, it bolts it right to the body, so it becomes a much more structural piece than it ever was before. So like with the SS, I mean, the idea makes sense. It's a V8, it's a rear wheel drive, you can get it with a manual, Magna ride. The problem is, is it has this front end. Nobody wants, especially in America, we it want looks a like car an Impala. that looks, it looks like an Impala, you're right. It doesn't excite people enough to be like, I'm gonna spend whatever it was, $50,000 on a four door rear wheel drive V8 car that I could have just bought something from Germany and that would have been fine. And it's unfortunate, because they're really cool cars and they drive really well, but People didn't like the way they look. I like the way they look, but maybe I'm just different. Especially in this color. I They're love just like color. total sleepers. They did. Oh my god, it's a total sleeper. Like you're basically you have a four-door Camaro with a manual, and obviously just SS. Yeah. I think for the back end though, I think the back end really does look nice though. All right, so nope. here we got a GT350, big wing on it. Yeah, no, it's obviously you can tell that this is not stock. Um, I say it's a park bench for a wing. This person obviously is going for a little bit more down for us, a little bit more track oriented driving more than the stock TT350. Not entirely sure why he wouldn't just go with an R, but to each their own. Coming along the side, I do love how they have this section here that's just meant to keep the air flowing across the front bumper and then up over the side, bringing that downforce in and, and being able to keep it stuck to the road. I do love the way these look, even though we have an up, there's an updated Mustang with new headlights and bumpers and everything. Oh, I almost prefer this one over. I actually prefer the way these look. I've been fortunate enough to be able to drive one of these, not obviously in this configuration, but I think it looks really, really sharp. Bringing, yeah, it's the right kind of blend with technology and shape and like how the, I love how the hood kind of scoops off here with the nice vent on the top. That's, yeah, don't look. Four on the floor. Freddie, what do you want to say about this one? I love this actually. I love look at the side pipes it has. I mean, what could you say about a, a side dumping exhaust? It's going to sound oh, awesome. Oh, that was pretty damn cool. Was it a lemon? Monster carburetor no, filter, not today. filter which is okay. crazy. There were, look at the GM hoses. That's so sweet. Yeah, the SS just gave up on the show. Oh, it's a metal fan, so it'll actually cut your fingers off. 
Not like a plastic one that was just hurt. I don't know that for any Well, this car costs $5,270. It came from Daily Chevrolet in Pennsylvania. Erie, Pennsylvania. Erie, Pennsylvania. Gotta love that under unburnt fuel though. This is so clean. So I actually met someone a little while ago that had had these bumpers removed and then this like see this see this line that's right here below yeah. the rear lights had that shaved off and then he brought this line up a little bit so it just looked like a bathtub. It was so cool and it was a convertible so it was dead flat right here and it just it was like whoa and then it scooped under. It was a really gorgeous looking car, but I love these. They are definitely a highlight of you know, Corvette history and obviously very collectible, especially the split window configuration if you can find them. Sure. All right, so we're pretty much the last ones here now. Yeah, sticking around, staying to the end. I mean, you never know what people are gonna do when they leave. So it's always fun to check everything out here at Lingenfelter and I'm more than happy to have everyone come out. It wasn't the best turnout, but the weather does suck, so welcome to Michigan car culture. If you didn't know, Grady works for La Fontaine, and that's who helps run this car event, so. Yeah, that's basically what I that's do. That's why you're so knowledgeable today. I, I just got a passion for cars, chasing any way I can. All right, see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, I'm driving home from the car show. Look what I found, brand new C8. And it's a little manufacturer wrap. Sorry, I can't really drive and film at the same time. But uh, yeah, this thing actually sounds pretty sweet. I'm gonna guess it has its valve blows. But uh, yeah, that thing's sweet as hell. Damn, that thing looks sweet as hell.